Guys, this is the Game Hunter channel with another episode of Tower Commander Rebels. And in this episode, we're gonna take a look and analyze a couple of replays on defense. Uh -huh. I always get this kind of request for you fellas. So, in this episode, uh, I think we're gonna call it Do Back failure <laughs> because for some reason a lot of people are attacking me with do backs. I know that the probably a combination between Vader and do backs and I don't know, maybe some deliverance and support can be a really difficult force to stop. But um, it's not that easy. <laughs> it's not just deploy Duvax and goodbye, because that's not going to happen. You won't be able to destroy a base just like that with Duvax. And especially there is one building in particular is deadly, and it's the Sonic Cannon. Sonic Cannon is... I don't know, at the beginning when they got released, I didn't like it, and after that, I've been just falling in love more and more and more with that defensive building, because it's so useful. So I've been trying to swap some of the uh, defensive buildings that I have to Sonic Cannons, and you, you know what? They're working quite okay. So I hope you guys are ready. Oh, by the way, I know there is a new UI in the game. It looks amazing. It's getting, it, it changed completely the way you see the game, which is really, really cool. And the other thing that I want to... That you guys know before starting with this episode is that we're gonna start i'm gonna try to do a live stream every week if it's possible star Wars commander and trying to re uh, reschedule or actually trying to put a schedule in the channel i have so many videos going on i have so many series that i would love to keep doing as often as possible so i might probably gonna change how many videos i'm gonna release every week and trying to reserve some specific days for example mondays or tuesday for uh, Star Wars Commanders uh, live stream on YouTube Gaming or on Mob Crash. Okay, fellas, I hope you guys are ready. Let's go to the battlefield. Let's go for battle number one in Takodana. And let's see how we're gonna survive this one. This one is more like an infantry attack. I don't have that many uh, traps ready. Um, most of them were disabled on a couple of previous attacks. Um, Vader, for some reason, went down extremely, extremely fast. Um, my opponent decided to deploy a bunch of heavies and also stormies. On the back of the base, which I believe is okay, but you know what? The Sonic Cannon is so effective. Let's see the Sonic Cannon in action. Um, and as soon as you see those buildings, those defensive buildings, right now I have a triangle. I got four actually Sonic Cannons in this part of the map. Well, you're gonna see those Stormies and Heavies going down extremely, extremely fast in combination with a mortar. Oof, definitely deadly. Definitely deadly. The Sonic Cannon is gonna probably do some damage to the unit and then the mortar is gonna take care of the rest. Look at all those units, they went down extremely, extremely fast and the Sonic Cannon is not that, it's one of those defensive buildings that take forever to recharge. So you have to provide another kind of defensive building. In this case, like I mentioned before, I was using mortars and Sonic Cannons and so far they were working quite okay against infantry. Those Stormies, they really thought that they had this battle under control until they saw that mortar coming and good night. <laughs> That will do it. <laughs> it is amazing. It's amazing how these two buildings work together quite okay. Well, the only disadvantage that this combination is not that effective against, uh, I don't know, for example, attacks with only vehicles and stuff like that, right? But the Sonic Cannon and the Mortar on defense works like a charm against infantry units of the Empire. Let's go for the next battle. Let's go to Takodana for battle number two. And in this one, we're gonna start seeing those do backs, okay? okay they, they, they. No problem. It's a good position for that. A couple of piggies. Here comes the do backs. I believe the do backs were deployed. I don't know. I, I think that was a good deployment of the do backs because of, with all those rocket launchers that I got in from and the Sonic Cannons, those poor do backs went down in two seconds. In two seconds. Even when the troops were kind of decent, uh, I believe that the deployment of the Dubax was critical. War completely, completely critical. Elite at, -AT went down because all the other shield generators are completely out of range. And I don't think they're going to be able to do much those heavy cannons and the heavy soldiers are coming from the bottom of the base. Probably going to go down. We're going to speed up things just a little bit. 
Okay, the police is going down. Yep, the police is down. Only the heavy is up. And um, you know what? The heavy is incapable to do damage to that uh, shield, unfortunately. So you have to rely on some other units. For some reason, something else happened. Oh, we had the last three deck over here doing some damage from behind. But that is not a big issue. I noticing that with the new patch, with the new UI of the game, I, I feel like it's running faster. Uh, please. Please let me know in the commentary section if it's just my impression. I'm using an iPad Air 2 and I feel like it's running faster. It's loading faster at the beginning. The splash screen was taking forever, but now it's loading a lot better. Um, and the other thing that I'm noticing is like, I don't know, every time that you swap from one screen for another, it looks like it's moving faster than before. That is, of course, an improvement. To be quite honest, to be quite honest, when I saw the change in the UI at the beginning, it was like, oh, do you know what? I don't like it. Personally, personally, I didn't like it because of the colors. I don't know the letters that they were using, the font. But um, you know what? After a while, changes are good, and uh, it makes everything a lot more clear. Also, all right, guys, let's go for the last attack of this episode. And there is a reason this episode is called Dubax's <laughs> Failure, and it's because of this attack. Twenty-six Dubax coming from the right side of the base. Uh, they're gonna go down so fast, it's not even funny. <laughs> I just don't know what happened! <laughs> I would love to know what happened. I don't know if it was the trap, I don't know if it was the Sonic Cannon, maybe the speeder bikes on defense, but those dubacks, 26 dubacks went down in two seconds. Okay, here comes the second round of dubacks, and again, they're, they're good, but they're not that great, okay? You have to be careful how you deploy units like that. Against Sonic Cannons and Rocket Launcher, there is not a chance. Those guys are gonna go down in two seconds. Droideka Sentinel is gonna probably finish the job because there's only Stormies alive in this corner of the map. And I believe that's all that is left. That's all that is left. And it was a really decent attack. I mean, when, when the attack started and I was watching the replays, like, hey, whoa, 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 careful. There's a bunch of Dubaks coming this way. And then I realized, hey, you know what? <laughs> Those Dubaks are not that great. <laughs> No, but probably that wasn't the correct way to deploy the Dubak. I think it would be a lot more effective you put, for example, Vader first and start using the special ability. And after that, you can probably bring the Dubaks from behind to take care of business. Or maybe, maybe bring an at -AT. So you need, to, you need to bring those shields down as soon as possible. Otherwise, your units are going to go down. The unit, it's not even funny. <laughs> Fellas, this is the Game Hunter. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Star Wars Commander Rebels. I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.